Hey guys, this is like Girl 88 or guys HV88. I thought I'd make a um tutorial again back for the whole Miku Miku Dance or uh PMD editor. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial, but you know what? I'm kind of in a good mood and I thought, hey, since I do have my MDD subscribers, I thought I'd go back and um at least do a tutorial. So this tutorial is specifically for Miku Miku Dance. You could probably find the, uh, the same amount of tutorials on YouTube just like this one. Um, it really depends on, you know, personal preference, what you want. Uh, this tutorial isn't going to cover necessarily uh, motion data. Isn't going to cover um, how to put in waves or how to make action motion. This is going to cover... Um, MME or basically Miku Miku effects. Miku Miku effects can really, really bring out your video. Can really make your, you know, project that you're working on just that much better. If you've seen a lot of the Miku Miku dance videos uh, by certain users, you will notice that their videos look really, really good. Sometimes it is just a little bit of Sony Vegas. Um, from what I can tell, but otherwise, for the most part, it seems to be Miku Miku effects. Now, Miku Miku effects, um, when you go to do it, uh, you will probably want to Google search it. Just type in Miku. Come on. There we go. Miku Miku effects. And then you can probably, from the Google search, wherever you want to go. I It's been a while, literally, since I've searched it up. Uh, but literally, um, just find a, uh, place that has a download link, download it, and when you download it, you have to, uh, one sec, I have a bunch of folders, so this is going to take me a little while, there we go, you have to put it in this here folder where your actual program is, if you don't put it in here, it's not gonna work. Um, there's many, many different places where you can get your effects. Again, if you want certain effects, Google search, YouTube search, and you'll most likely find the effect that you want. Um, even DeviantArt has some good ones, guys, so check there, too. Alright, so basically, when you have your model set up, your wave set up, your motion set up, you know, whatever... How do I do the Miku Miku uh, effects? Simple. You have to do it in the accessory manipulation, which is where you normally load up your stages and stuff like that. Then, from the accessories, just go back to your user file, then go back to your main Miku Miku Dance file. And I'm going to be showing you some of the more and what I mean by more, some of the more common effects that I tend to see in videos. First one that we're going to look at is diffusion. I have two. It doesn't matter which diffusion that you have. Um, sometimes they make a difference, sometimes they don't. It's really up to you. Uh, what the diffusion will do is it will soften your video. Basically, it, it'll make it so that it's not as dull. It kind of just gives it a light soft kind of makes it nice and pretty you know stuff like that um next effect that we're going to be looking into is your shaders this shader is specifically not for the actual models but this might be for the background and stuff like that so usually what I see people use is the ISO or, or SSAO, whatever you want to call it. Some people might use other effects. Um, yeah, but this is one of the more common ones that I've started seeing in certain videos, so I'm going to cover it. Um, heads up, if you're ever using this, it will lag your MDD just a little bit, but it does make that much of a difference. I will show you in a second as soon as it loads see that actually looks a lot better and it does make that much of a difference makes it nice makes it darker with the uh, diffusion it even makes it that much better so you have a really good effect here um, 
Messi, what else do I tend to use that I know that people tend to use as well? Um, wrong file. Ah, uh, the Illumines. Now, I actually have it, but I really haven't figured out exactly how to use it, use it per se. I've seen a lot of different people, they have to edit their models, certain colors or whatever to do the glow. But the key luminesce that I've noticed, it basically selects certain parts to make it glow. I don't always like to use it just because if there's, a, such as you can see here, Tom Key's hair. I don't want Tom Key's hair to glow like that. Um, but sometimes it can make a difference. It will also give, you know, the glowy effect or whatever. It's a cool effect, so if you want, you know, some more glowy, glowy coolness, then I, I suggest using it. Um, some effects that I also have that aren't necessarily always used in videos, um, can make a difference. Let's see if I can get the... I think it's the mirror... It's been a while. Where is it the working floor? I don't remember. I think it is the working floor. Sorry, I'm talking. I'm, of course, talking to myself, too. Uh, the working floor basically gives this a nice. Uh, if I back up here for a bit, come on. Again, like I said, I'm lagging because of the uh, ISS or the SSAO file. Let's see. There we go. Basically the uh, working floor gives us nice little uh, reflection and again that can make a difference and if you want to make it bigger uh, just adjust the SI down here or the size and then it'll do it for you. Register that. And that too can make an effect on your videos. Now, if you want to know how to do the self model shadows, uh, you have to go to this thing here, which is MME effect, and then you click effect mapping. Now you can select whatever you want to adjust, etc. Now there are, there's tons of different shaders out there. So if you're wondering, you know, what can I use to make my model look better? I'm going to say look around, you know, maybe look at different videos, look at um, DeviantArt, you know, see what sounds interesting to you, etc, etc, etc. Let's see, I have a shader pack by this user named Riley um, Buderu, or I think that's how the name is, I don't know. Um, she's on DA. I um, would have to re I have to refine the link to it because it's been a while, like I said. But uh, she's got a lot of popular shaders here, which is nice. Uh, we'll go with the uh, like I said, a lot of shaders. Uh, we'll go with the figure shader. The figure shader gives a more realistic effect, more darker, more harsher. It's one of those effects that if you're going for more detail, you would use. And then you can kind of see there, uh, that's what it'll do. Right now, uh, you see a shadow underneath the face because of the way it looks. Uh, that's just because of that. Um, I actually sort of like the shader. So if I want to use it, I'm going to click Apply, and then click OK. And then when I do everything else, that'll make a difference. I hope this tutorial does help. To a degree, if there are certain effects that you want me to uh, cover, maybe uh, water or something like that, to a degree, because I, I know some, but not all, uh, just uh, comment down below, and I'll try to make a video on that later. Otherwise, I wish you guys good luck, and uh, have fun uh, with your Mika Mika dance.